take a moment, close your eyes, relax, see yourself sitting here. Picture yourself as a tree. Reach down with our roots, down through the floor, through the basement, down deep into the soil, far beneath where we're sitting. Down and down till you reach the bedrock far below the earth. As you reach it, you're going to search around until you can find the cool, crisp waters far beneath the earth. And we find these pools of water. And with each and every breath, we're going to pull these waters up and into our bodies. Bring them up and up into our feet. With each and every breath, they come up higher and higher into our legs, into our loins. As we breathe in, they come up higher into our bellies and into our chests. As we keep on breathing in, these cool, crisp waters from far below continue to come up into our heads, into our hands, flowing up and through all and back out, back into the ground with us being the center of a cycle. Feel these waters running through your body. Feel the cool waters of chaos, waters of potential running throughout your bodies, filling you with the energies from far below. Take in this energy. And now we turn our attention up to the sky. We grow our branches up through the ceilings and up through the roofs, up high into the skies, through the clouds, until we can find that one <coughs> Excuse me, do we find that one pole star directly above our heads? We're going to pull the light in from above, pull the fires from above down into our branches and into our hands. With each and every breath, we'll pull these fires down into our bodies, into our heads, into our chests, bring the fires down further into our bellies, into our loins. Keep on bringing these fires down into our legs and into our feet. So we are glowing with these fires from above, mingling with the waters from below. Each breath we pull the fires down and the waters up, mingling throughout our bodies, filling us with the energies of fire and water, order and chaos, the powers of potential mixing throughout our bodies. <sighs> Rejoice in these energies. Take of these energies. Bring yourself back to the level that you want to be at. And once you have done so, push the waters back down to the ground, push the fires back up into the sky, but make sure you keep within you all the energies that you need. And disconnect from the waters, disconnect from the fires, and know that if you ever need to pull on these energies ever again, you can always reach down, always reach up. But for now, take a deep breath in and out. In and out. When you're ready, open your eyes. Prepare for magic. First, we pay honor to the Earth Mother. Earth Mother, you surround us, you support us, you feed us, you house us. Without you, we would not be able to survive. To you, we make our first offering and say, Earth Mother, accept our offerings. We are here to honor the gods, the ancestors, and the land spirits. We're here to ask blessings from the kindred. Mighty well, your waters run deep into the earth. You are a connection to the ancestors. To you, we give you the silver, the sacred wells, sacred waters flow within us.
the mighty fire. You burn and you transform. You take all of our offerings and send them up to the heavens, to the shining ones. To you, you burn this incense and say, sacred fires burn within us. A mighty tree, your roots run deep into the earth, to the wells of the ancestors far below, and branches run high into the sky, to the shining ones far above. We give you water, we give you incense, and we say, sacred tree, grow within us. And in my house and in all of our houses, by the light of the water, the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. By the might of the water and the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. By the might of the water and the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. So be it. Next, we offer to the gatekeepers. Mighty gatekeepers, to all of you who have aided us in years gone by, to all that will aid us in the future, we call to you to come and join us. We call to you to ask for your aid, to help us open the ways between the worlds, to allow us to have clear communications, take our messages far and wide, bring back to us all that we need to hear to watch over us and guard us as we walk your holy roads. Mighty gatekeepers, accept our offerings. Now, in my house and in all of our houses, gatekeepers, join your magic with mine. Let the well open as a gate to the underworlds. Let the fires open as a gate to the upper worlds trees to come across us between all the worlds open to our voices and open to the spirits let the gates be opened first we give to the ancestors to all of you who are family our blood we offer you welcome to all of you we have chosen our inspiration, our friends, we offer you welcome. And to all of you buried in this very earth, we offer you welcome. Come, join us by our fires. Ancestors, accept our offerings. Land spirits, fur and feather, scale and skin, our animal kins. We offer you welcome. Leaf and twig, stem and flower, our plant kin, we offer you welcome. And to all the unseen, the house spirits, the land spirits, whoever you may be, we offer you welcome. Come, join us by our fire. Land spirits, accept our offerings. To the shining ones, gods and goddesses of other days, you who watch over each and every one of us, our matrons and patrons, we offer you welcome. To you of this very earth where we worship, we offer you welcome. And to all of you who watch over us, whether we know it or not, we offer you welcome. Shining ones, come, join us by our fire. Shining ones, accept our offerings. At this point, if there are any offerings that need to be made, feel free to make them. But for this, I ask for unity over division. There are no further offerings to be made. 
mighty kindred, we have given to you, we give you give to you one last time, for we ask for blessings in return. Mighty kindred, accept our sacrifice. And now, mighty kindred, we ask, what blessings do we receive? First, from the ancestors. Ancestors give us sozo, the sun, wholeness, completeness. From the land spirits, land spirits give us analogies, the need fire, desires, wants. And the shining ones, the shining ones give us stars eyes. The thorn. We're going to go through a little bit of pain through the thorn. It's needed to bring about to bring about a brighter future. To bring about good things. I think these omens are good. Do we accept these omens? Then, ancient and mighty ones, we have given to you, we've asked for your blessings in return. Fill these waters in my house and in all of our houses. Fill them with sozo, the sun and wholeness. Fill them with analogies, the need fire. Fill them with thorzaz, the thorn. Behold the waters of life. Now, let us thank all those who have aided us. Shining ones, gods and goddesses of elder days, be you our patrons and matrons, be you of this land, or be you unknowns to us. For all that you have done for us tonight and throughout the days, shining ones, we thank you. To the land spirits, be you animal kin, be you plant kin, or be you the unseen kin. For all that you do for us throughout the days, all you do for us throughout the weeks. Land spirits, we thank you. And to the ancestors, be you our relatives, be you our chosen family, or be you of this very earth, for all that you have done for us and all that you do for us throughout the days. Ancestors, we thank you. Gatekeepers, you have aided us once more. You have opened the ways. You have brought back these omens. You have sent our messages far and wide. For all that you have done for us, gatekeepers, we thank you. And now we ask you once more, join your magic with mine in my house and all of our houses. Of the well become but water. The fires become but flame. But the tree become but a tree once more. But the gates be closed. And Earth Mother, we honor you first, and we thank you last. For without you, we would not be here. Without you, we would not survive. For all that you do for us, Earth Mother, we thank you. Go now, children of Earth, in wisdom and peace. This right has ended.